I wanted to show you guys this because I had a video request for this a little while ago um, about organization of closet A, but B, also how I make my super, super cheap labels. Um, up here I just have um, an extra like little drawer and I've labeled it um, kind of with this cute little scrapbook paper um, with my label maker and then I've laminated it and a couple of you guys were asking how I did this and I know a few of my viewers actually do do this and I want to show you guys um, so let me quick show you the labels in the closet and then how I do it if you want to implement this because it's way cheap you guys okay so he keeps his light khaki shorts here and he doesn't really need to see them he just has to like fold them and put them back so this is a good up high thing dark khaki shorts go here Extra shoes and sports, so like some of his karate gear goes in this gorgeous pink bin. He's a real man, right? And um, down here, um, he has lounge shorts, that's what we call them, just like hanging around shorts, um, as well as other shorts that don't fit in the khaki category. Um, and then his boxers in here, but I'm not going to show you guys that. Um, his socks go in here. He has really dark socks here and light socks here. And I just put them in a basket to kind of help divide the space. That was a basket we already had. And then that drawer that you saw way at the top actually came from here. And I, now we kind of use this as a cubby. So his shoes go in here. And then bathing suits are always going to be kept on this side. And this label kind of sticks out. But that's fine because nothing really tall is going to go in here. So, um, that's how we decided to organize the closet. And then this is kind of a, a cool part. Um, he also keeps a lot of his clothes in here because this is his only closet space in the whole house, his only space for stuff. And that's not enough for all the clothes he owns. So we've kind of transferred it to here. And here's how I did that. Um, basically, he just has kind of everything um, organized by category, and then the new part of this is the labels that I just made. So his basic t-shirts are all here, and we fold them kind of so they stand up. Um, white shirts go here. I threw out, you guys, all but one. That's how gross they were, so I'm going to have to buy him more one uh, more shirts. Um, work shirts go here, and then his jeans go here. Um, he does have another closet in like a guest bedroom where he keeps suits and like super dressy clothes, but he doesn't have a whole lot of those, so it doesn't take up much space. So stay tuned for the next part of this video, and I will show you how to make these little labels if you want to do them for your closet. I am going to use scrapbook paper for this and I've already printed off some of the labels with my label maker and if you guys are curious the label maker that I use is an Epson and I will put the actual um, name of this product on the screen so you can see but I adore this label maker in my opinion it's the best one on the market and the reason that I like it over the brother products is because when you print it out um, the brother products actually put like an entire half inch in front of each label you print of wasted tape and if you know about the label tape you know it's really expensive and this one doesn't do that it automatically clips it down basically as short as you can go for a label maker so that's why I love this thing so much but I digress um, the main thing about this method to make laminating stuff that you will need and this costs about four dollars at an average store maybe even cheaper if you go to like Walmart is mailing and storage packing tape. It's basically that really clear, really strong tape that sticks on itself. This is what you want. And it basically, as long as you are making a label or any type of thing you want to laminate that is smaller than the width of this tape, you're good to go. And if you're wondering, does this even stand the test of time? Like if I put this on there, is it gonna like turn yellow or get gross? And in my experience, the answer is no. I have been doing this, I'm not even kidding, since I was 10 years old. And I have like this Save Forever box where like I save all my mementos. And stuff that I use this packaging tape on doesn't yellow. It literally looks like I like put the tape on yesterday. So when I make these labels, I use a paper cutter that I got from Michaels. It was about $10, um, but I used a 40% off coupon. And the reason that I use it is because I think it makes a really clean line and it just makes everything look more professional because it's 100% even. Then I unroll the tape and I take about this much tape or so, it's about a foot. And you want to make sure that you turn off fans and close windows because if this tape blows on itself, you're basically screwed. You have to start from the beginning. Um, so then I just lay it flat on a surface that isn't painted or anything like that. And I take each of my labels and I lay them face down so I can gauge about how many I can fit on the strip. 
And one by one, I'll go through and just push each of the labels onto the tape and smooth them out so to get out the air bubbles. And they're about an inch or so apart. Then comes the tricky part. I take another piece of tape that's the same size and very carefully lay it over the first, kind of working my way up the tape and smoothing out air bubbles as I go. So once I'm done, it should look something like this. And then I take a bone tool, um, and if you don't have one of these, you can just use a credit card or something like that, and I just smooth out all of the bubbles very carefully. And once I've done that, I cut out my labels and I'm ready to go. And the way that I adhere the labels is actually by using painter's tape. And the reason I use painter's tape is because it doesn't um, affect any of the surfaces negatively. In addition to that, your systems change as you change, so you need to be able to implement new ideas when organizing. A tip I want to give you guys too is to have a place to put extra hangers. If When you grab shirts from your closet, if you just leave the hangers um, in your closet, then it looks really messy and you got to go digging through and you want to hang it back up and stuff just ends up in piles. So as soon as you take your shirt off the hanger, hang it up on like a little hook or something on the back of your door or have a basket in the bottom of your closet for the hangers. So that way it's super easy to put stuff away. So I just put a little label for extra hangers. So so um, it reminds my husband too that every single time he takes a hanger out, it goes up here. So it makes stuff really easy to put away.